Hello everyone, today we are starting a series on how to code a Discord bot like the one in my server. So, this is a beginner's tutorial. Uh, you should probably learn JavaScript before coding an API, but you don't have to need to know everything, just the basic knowledge. So, uh, things like about my bot, you know, you have the help command. It does all the stuff that, like uh, like moderation. It manages counting. Um, you can do a lot of stuff. You can get a Reddit thing. Uh, there's time. There's a time zone system, um, and yeah, it's just overall has a lot of cool features. So we're uh, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is Visual Studio Code. This is what's gonna allow you to like actually write the code, and and it's just um in my opinion the best coding one for just like simple and nice coding. Um and then Node.js Node.js allows you to actually run JavaScript or uh for your bot on your computer, so you need this to actually run your bot. We're also going to have to actually create our bot. So you want to go to discord.com slash developers. So once you get to this screen, we're going to create a new application. I'm going to name it um, CoolBot and create. So now we have an application and to add the bot to an application is really simple. You just go to bot, add bot, yes, do it. And then whether you want to like get presence, so like the status and um, be able to download the entire server list, you should check those. Um, but other than that, so so once you've created your bot, you probably want to uncheck public bot because you you want to keep it private until you finish coding it. Then uh, to invite it to an actual server where you can you know like interact with it. Uh, you go back to general information and copy the client ID. So once you've copied the client ID, go to this website in the description and put in your client ID. And then uh, you're probably just going to want to give it administrator because you're coding it. Um, and then you just click this link and you can add it to your server. So once you've done all of that, so now, if you go back to your server, the bot should be there. So once we've installed both of those things, um, uh, we're going to create a new folder for our bot. So I'm just going to create a new folder, and it's going to be called CoolBot. And what we have to do now is go to, is type in CMD, and then go to the command prompt right here. And then type cd and uh, go up here copy this path and paste it in here so basically what this just does is it makes the command prompt go to this folder so if we press enter it'll just go to that folder and then we need to uh, create the bot with npm in it just like that and then press enter then you just go through the stuff. I'm just gonna press enter on every single one because, yep. Okay, so now we have the package.json file. Next thing we want to do is install discord.js. So npmi discord.js. Uh, so now we have all of the necessary things to start. So now what you want to do is open Visual Studio Code, go to File, Open Folder and find the folder of your bot and just click select folder. And then once it's here, we have to create the actual coding file. So we do this, we do the new file thing and we type index.js. So now we're ready to actually start. The things you need in the index.js which is required is 
first we have to uh, define Discord. So cons Discord equals require Discord.js. And then const client equals new Discord client. Discord.client. What this does is you're getting the Discord.js API, um, which, you know, has all the functions to code in JavaScript. And then we have, and then we're creating a new client, which is the thing that law that becomes the bot. So, uh, like your Discord app is a Discord client that allows you to log in. So now, to log into the bot, we're gonna do client dot login, and then put your token here. So I'm gonna put mine, just like that. Up. So we go to terminal, new terminal. And then type node dot. That'll start the node server. So if you press node dot, then it seems like nothing happens. But if you go back to your server, the bot is online. So that's good. So now we're going to start our first commands. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an event. So an event is an event when something happens. It's going to do something. So, um, on a message, so you type client dot on message. Then we want to take the message and we want to put it into the event. So with this code, now we just have the message and we can perform actions on it. So let's say we want to do if message.content. So this just gets like the text of the message equals um, hello. Then it's going to get the message, and then get the channel the message was sent in, and it's going to send in that channel, hello, or right, let's make it say hi, and then you save that again, you go down here, you stop it with control C, and then you type no dot again, and then we go back, still online, if we say hello, it says hi. So now we have the bot set up and until the next video.